What up, YouTube? Topaz Jakes back for another daily review, and this one is that Post Malone congratulations featuring Quavo and such. And I'm gonna give this one the yellow light, not because it's a quality song or anything like that, but this again is just one of those new acts that's coming up and such. As I'm sure you've all heard that White Iverson track as this guy signed with Public Records, and you know they trying to claim that you know that was his one song that he created on his own that just instantly blew up, and then that led to him getting signed to a label when we all should know by now there's no overnight success on that level on which they did with him. What that really shows is that he was signed to a label deal and such but the labels really didn't announce it but yet they still promoted him so he can seem like he got that grassroots movement to him. Because here's the thing about hip hop man, if you just come out of nowhere and you're signed to a label and all of that stuff man, then a lot of people just don't respect you. But yet if it seems like you came up out of nowhere and such man, people will look at you like okay this is the new hot guy who just got hot on the streets because he worked hard for it. And which this song to give some background to it, he debuted at a show that he did back in September and this is something that I tell individual acts to never do. Whenever you do shows, people only want to hear the classics from you and such man, so you never want to debut new songs when you do shows and such, but yet this is one of those exceptions because he only had one song, so he might as well go ahead and do something if that's all he had. But this is a song that's going to be off of his stone project that's coming out next month I believe. But yet overall this is another one of those songs that it will always be in hip hop and such that back then didn't want me, now I'm hot, now they all on me type joint man. But he's ultimately said that nobody used to know about him not that long ago but now everybody's all congratulatory to him how he got a whole bunch of women that really didn't know him not that long ago and how he pulled up in his fancy cars and all of that man and everybody going wild for him when he really was not like that not that long ago, man. And you know, that's just the reality of this game, dude. When you are down on the bottom and nobody knows about you, everybody's gonna hate on you, nobody's gonna show you love, but when you find some success, then all of a sudden, everybody just automatically had love for you. How they'll talk about how they used to love you back in them days. Now, that production was nothing special by a long shot, but I did like how it blended the styles of Quavo and Post Malone rather well, man, to the point that it was rather decent of a track. Not one that I would recommend men like that, but still one you should peep out just because these are the new dudes that's doing things. But a quick recap man, the positives that I take from it is people should peep this out just because this is the direction that hip hop is going, you need to stay relevant so you got to listen to these people. And secondly, I like the cohesiveness of the project man, the production and the flows and everything kind of rocks well, but yet the negatives that I take from this man is that it's just not an overall quality song man and that's just what the music industry has been putting out there. But this concludes today's review man and now we're gonna jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer insane beats before we jump into some of your questions about that Big Shot No Interviews track is there's a moment in there where he's dissing Kendrick Lamar and it's one of those slight disses that guys like Jay Electronica would do and all of that man where Big Shot is ultimately talking about somebody rapping fast and how they're rapping like they having like an asthma attack or something like that and how he's upset that people are labeled him as the top five savior of rap and all that and you know what I didn't catch that the first time and that honestly does make a lot of sense if that's what it is but in the end this is one of those things, if you're gonna call out Kid Cudi, obviously, and such, man, then you need to call out Kendrick Lamar, obviously, as well, you feel me? I'm really not gonna give him credit to that diss and such, man. That's something that we just have to obviously see if it develops into anything. And as Isaiah says in his own comment, man, that it's probably gonna be squashed before it becomes anything, but in the end, if it's going to be anything, they have to let it be known that it'll be something, you feel me? I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to downloadpads.com that's down there to read today's article.